What's up, my dudes and ladies? Welcome to the channel, guys. Welcome to the Hair Experience, the largest hair replacement, hair system, self-tutorial how-tos on the planet. If you want information on this subject, you came to the right place. Curse is being stupid. Free, subscribe, both free, no charge. We don't charge anything for that. Anyways, um, hairbymhe.com has got all the products, supplies, styling products, leave-in conditioner, shampoos, everything that you need to do this job and do it right. Um, use that coupon code MHE20 to save $30 off of your hair replacement. Um, and myhairexperience.com has got a ton of information, FAQs, tutorials. Check both of those out. That pays the bills. What are you talking about today, Curtis? Today... Oh, my soapbox is cold outside. It sucks. Um, I'm talking about cleaning a poly unit. And I've done videos on this in the past, but I like to fresh things up a little bit. Um, not hard. Um, I'm going to move the camera real quick um, so that I can get a better angle so you can actually see what I'm doing instead of looking at my ugly mug with no hair on it. it sucks. Um, so stand by one second. I'm going to get the camera moved. Hold on. All right. So <clears throat> what I did was I took my adhesive remover. I sprayed the unit down while I was cleaning my scalp, okay? So I've sprayed the unit down and what I've got now is I've got tape that's left over and I've also got um, bond on the hairline. So what I do is I take a napkin and I fold it like this so it makes it kind of sturdy, okay? I'm gonna get all that excess um, remover off and then what I'm doing, okay, trying to make sure the camera I'm trying to look at the camera and look at the thing so I'm taking this and I'm rolling this corner up right here and as you can see that corner started to come up I'm going to take that and I'm going to pull that tape just like that okay and then I'm going to stick that on my paper towel so it doesn't get the counter all dirty So I run my finger and stick that on the paper towel so it don't get all nasty. Um, and then I, I keep doing the same thing. So what I've got here is I've got kind of a damp area from where that adhesive remover was. I'll go to another corner now or another drier spot. And what I'm doing is I'm just kind of rolling this corner. I'm firmly supporting the unit. That's actually where I just got. So I might as well just get all that goop off while I'm there. All right, so that is decently gone. So now what I did when I was actually doing that was that corner right there started to come up. Perfect. Okay, now I can just get my fingers and pinch it and I'm pulling away from the center of the unit. Now this tape is our super tape product. It's exactly what we sell in the store. It's exactly what I use. This is now three weeks old. Um, I wear it three weeks in the, in the winter, two weeks in the summer, two, two and a half weeks in the summer. So now I've got that one off and I'm gonna keep doing the same thing. All right, so now we've got that corner up and I'm gonna pull away like so. And that's where my other one for the crown is, is right there in the middle. All right, so now I've got that off. So now you guys don't need to repetitively see me do that over and over again, but that's the process that I'll take all the way around the unit. All right, so now that I've got that done, now I've got this residue that's kind of left behind, okay? What I do is I take my paper towel and I kind of rub over that residue and you can see it rolling up, okay? Most of it, the paper towel catches, perfect. Now you can see, yeah, this is exactly where the paper towel caught it, okay? I'm just gonna roll it and let the paper towel catch it. As you can see, it's right there and it's all gummed up. The paper towel should catch it. Yep, there it is right there. All right, so now I got nasty on my paper towel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold my paper towel the other way. So now I got another clean spot. And I'm just gonna keep that process going all the way around. Okay, I didn't have anything in the middle, so there's not a whole lot to clean here, but you need to make sure that that is sanitary and clean. So what I do after this is all done, okay, and I've got, what I'll do after this is I'll spray my adhesive remover again all over the entire unit. And then I want to um, make sure that I've got all my nastiness off of here. Once all my nastiness is off, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to put adhesive remover because you can see right there. See how that adhesive is getting down into the hair? That's okay. Don't worry about it. What I do then is I'll spray my adhesive remover again, and I usually do it on the top too, okay? 
what I'll do then is I'll put me some shampoo in there in the top of the hair. Then I'll, I'll blast my adhesive remover all around here. Look how thin that is. That's normal, guys. That's how my that's how they look. That's the way they're supposed to look. I'm going to reinstall this same unit. It's going to look perfect. Um, you don't want super thick. Like if you put it up to the light, you're supposed to see through it, guys. You're supposed to. The human head is, is not covered with a hair follicle on every last nanometer. Just always remember that. Um, so what I'll do then is I'll spray it down. I'll get my, my comb that I was just using to clean my scalp. And then I'm going to comb through that very slowly and very gently with the shampoo on there. It causes slickness. And then I got my adhesive remover on there too. And I got hot tap water going at the same time. So then I'll put my, my comb under the, uh, the hot tap water. It'll get that glue away. And then I'll do one or two more strokes like that get the nasty on there, get the hot water to clean it off. All right, so that's got your base clean, guys. Obviously, mine isn't there, but that's what's going to happen. Um, lace is going to be generally the same, but you're going to spray from the hair side into the in through it so that the tape is releasing from the lace and it's not wanting to bring that hair back through there. So, I'm trying to think if there's any, there's really all there is to it. Always pull away, always pull away from the middle. You never want to do this or, you know, something down. You don't want to um, tear the unit. Now on a lace unit, like I said, spray from the other side in through that so it releases from the base of the lace and doesn't want to pull the hair through. If you see a lot of hair coming through, you really want to go spray some leave-in conditioner on the hair side of it and then brush through it to get that hair to come back to the other side, okay? Um, and then do your final wipe once you're all clean, uh, a light wipe with isopropyl alcohol, and you're good to go. So stand by. Okay, so I hope that helps you guys. Like I was saying, just keep going in the process that I just showed you, and you'll clean it. Just take your time. You want, and like I said, I spray that adhesive remover on it, and I clean my scalp up a little bit, so I'm not doing scalp at one time and unit at one time. I'm trying to split those times up so I don't irritate my scalp. Um, that's really what I got. Um, that's really all there is to it. When you're done cleaning now, you wanna make sure that you feel on there, that you don't feel any grimy or greasy or anything like that. If you try to stick tape or bond to something that's got either leave-in conditioner, shampoo, um, adhesive remover, anything on it, that tape is not gonna stick or the bond is not gonna stick and you're not gonna get a good result. Um, really, again, all there is to it. Um, guys, always, as always, grateful to have you as customers and to have your business. It means the world to us. So hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up button if you like my content and it's helpful. And uh, we're going to keep making videos. And we'll see you soon, guys. Have a great weekend. See ya.